super excited to be headed to Canada's Grammys, the Juno Awards at Toronto's Budweiser stage. I know what you're thinking. Wow, that's so cool. I wish I could walk the red carpet for the Juno Awards too. And so did I since I went the wrong way. It was the first time the awards show was held in person after a couple years for some reason, with people coming from all across the country to celebrate Canada's biggest night for music. front row seats or VIP treatment, but it was exciting to be there in person to watch the show. A few awards were handed out, of course, with the night's biggest winner being Charlotte Cardin from Montreal. Wow, thank you for the love, man. Our cows. We share this award with all the other honorees. We're such big fans of all the bands in our category. Simu Liu from Shangxi and Kim's Convenience was a fantastic host. He was a singer, a dancer, a comedian, he did it all, and the crowd loved him for it. Now, one of my favorite things about hosting this year is getting to be absolute legends. But let's be honest, meeting your heroes doesn't always turn out well. You guys ever met Pokeru? Huge asshole. A few special awards were handed out, including one for Deborah Cox, who was finally inducted to Canada's Music Hall of Fame. And to Sean Mendez, who was honored with a special international achievement award to honor his global impact in music. Thank you, Toronto, Juno. There were some great performances from Arkells, Tesher, Avril Lavigne, Arcade Fire, and more. Junos this year, five stars. Simu Liu was a great host, the performances were amazing, and it was just nice to be back in person for live music. <laughs> 